Hi everybody and welcome to my next tutorial. Uh, my name is Maltenan and today we're going to um, create this volume lightning uh, effect. Uh, well, this is actually a tip rather than a tutorial because this one is pretty pretty easy. So, okay, let's just start by um, creating a new composition. Let me just delete this. And let's just create a new composition. And let's call this volume light. And uh, let's create a new solid that is going to be our uh, light source. Oh, sorry for this. And uh, next thing, we're going to use fractal noise to generate some uh, random fractal noise. <laughs> okay, let's set the noise type to spline so the result is a bit smoother. And let's turn the complexity down to 2 and sub setting sub influence to 0 or maybe to 20% so the results are very smooth. Uh, next thing, set the overflow to warp back. Uh, basically what this does is that when you pump up the contrast and the values go to white or below white or sh just should go below pure white, they just start warping back as you can see. So we have this uh, bright lines and then inside we have a, a darker color. So this is basically what warp back does and I think this looks okay and uh, next thing we're going to turn this layer into a 3d layer and let's rotate it by holding shift so we rotate it 90 degrees as you can see we have uh, no layer visible at this moment is because it's facing the camera uh, facing the composition so let me just move this upwards like so and we can just scale it like this and the next step is to create a new adjustment layer let's call this light and this is going to generate a volume light uh, and we are going to use uh, radial fast blur that's right and let me just move this down a bit and let's move the center point just above the solid layer and let's set the zoom type to brightest and already you can see some amazing stuff going on and uh, yes this is animating at the moment so let's create a, a small animation so let's go to evolution let's alt click on the stopwatch and let's type time times uh, 50 I guess that should be okay let me just render this out and there you go um, nice volume lightning going on in the background and this is also a transparent layer so uh, we have an, an alpha channel going on in here so this is good if you would like to use some kind of a background so let's create um, a new solid let's call this background BG and let's use a ramp effect and let's generate some colors for example uh, something like this and uh, maybe more greenish like a, a, a deep ocean stuff and now and the problem is that we still have this layer visible. We could, of course, uh, move it upwards uh, to hide the layer, but I think that the better way to do it, uh, I mean much more um, convenient, I think that's the word, is to use the transform effect uh, on the adjustment layer um, because of course we don't we cannot have the background uh, in, in in this composition then this is just the volume lighting so let me just turn this off this was just for you know demonstration purposes um, because if we apply the transform effect 
and turn off the uniform scaling let's just pump up the height and maybe let's move the position upwards we can always turn this on and off to you know make adjustments to this layer uh, without having to pull it back down and then pull it back up and stuff like that so this is this is pretty pretty useful stuff and uh, I think that's it so as you can see this was rather a tip than a full length tutorial uh, anyway I hope you've enjoyed it and I would like to encourage you to visit my website www maltenon.com to see more of my tutorials uh, on Photoshop, After Effects, Addition and basically all the Adobe uh, Production Studio products. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.